travelers in Munich, Germany. I'm Michelle Kruzik. I'm Patrick Michael. And I'm Robin Tipps. For two weeks every year, Munich puts on a tremendous display of German culture. Oompa bands, lederhosen, beer gardens, knockwurst, and more. And all of it in proportions befitting the bigness of the German heart. Big crowd, big food, big beers, all in big tents. It actually started in 1810 as a horse race and party celebrating the marriage between King Ludwig I of Bavaria to Queen Teresa. It took place on a meadow, or the Wiesen, but nowadays the meadow has been replaced by these giant beer halls. The horse race was a one-time occurrence, but the party still goes on. Welcome to the world's biggest festival. Welcome to Oktoberfest. Every year, some six million people from all over the world cram into Oktoberfest's giant halls to eat, drink, and be merry. <laughs> Leader-sized mugs of beer are Oktoberfest's trademark, but not its only feature. During the 16-day celebration, young and old enjoy Bavarian food, traditional music, and dozens of hair-raising rides. It all happens at the Wiesen, or Oktoberfest Fairgrounds, just minutes from downtown Munich. Capital of the southern state of Bavaria, Munich is also the beer capital of Germany. 123 million gallons of beer are produced by Munich breweries every year. Drunk morning, noon, and night, the beverage is central to life here. And beginning every September, it takes center stage for Oktoberfest. Why is it called Oktoberfest? Yeah. Just, uh, there is no special reason, I think. It's just, uh, over the years, the people said, okay, we call it Oktoberfest. I don't know. So, how come Oktoberfest is in September, not October? The tradition goes, mate, the last three weeks of the harvest. Harvest, is it the, um, hop? Hops, harvest or something? Anyway, it's the harvest. So, uh, it was always tradition to have the last two weeks, and it ends in October. That's the way it is. But it's still September. Yes, but it is the September, October. September fest. The September fest. <laughs> and why isn't it like September fest? It doesn't Wouldn't have the ring to it. Yeah, it doesn't have the ring to it. Because it's not used in the calendars we know it now. It's used in the old Victorian calendar. Ah. You ask me why you call it yeah. October first, despite all starting from September, right? Yeah, any idea? I have no idea, but maybe he has some idea. About that. <laughs> it starts now, correct? Yeah. Yes. Yes, sir, you're right. But it's September. Uh -huh. That's that's oh, it's yeah, always been so. Uh, yes, it it's it's named October Oktoberfest because it uh, it takes place in September. <laughs> I think there's this whole atmosphere about Oktoberfest, this whole feeling. It's not just the event, it's getting there, surviving it, and going back home. For many Europeans, getting to Oktoberfest means traveling by rail. For Patrick, Robin, and Michelle, it means taking the night train to Munich. We are on this train. Next stop, Oktoberfest. But you know what? I really like this compartment. It's comfortable. There's a little couch, table, and did you see this? Sink under wow. the table. That's pretty innovative, huh? It, it actually works, too. Water and everything. <laughs> But I really want to find the beds. I want to know how to, where in this little small compartment are our beds, and do we get them out, or does a porter, or does Patrick have to go get a porter and help us oh, get them out? Subtle. Please. There's my cue. <laughs> Please. All right. Thanks. I'm out of here. I'll send you a porter, Thanks. and I'll Thank see you. you in Munich. Okay. Good night. Good night. Patrick got the porter who was supposed to take down our beds. And he went in there and <laughs> changed this place from a living room into a bedroom in about three minutes. Maybe that holds the person in. I, yeah, hope I think it holds so. the person in. <laughs> Okay, you can roll out of the top. Oh, I hope not. <laughs> oh, neat. Oh, yeah. Voila. Thank you. 
While Robin and Michelle got some shut-eye, Patrick set out to learn about Oktoberfest. Hey, hey. you kind of started Oktoberfest early, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. Look at this. What is this? This uh, oh, gentleman beer. Gosh! You've been, though, so tell me what I can expect. What's it going to be like? Uh, it's crazy. It's crazy. People are crazy there. And, uh... We are drinking, uh, singing in the streets, uh, dancing, also dancing, dancing. To, dancing together, making fun. yes, making and fun. making fun. But it's for the fun. It's for the fun. There are many people there. It's it's fun. It's 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 beer. Uh, it's just Good. just it. Ten. Ten. You can sit there to eat chicken and uh, German food and beers. Beer like this. So no, make, no. So big about uh, two three liters. La bière, les filles. The costume, ambiance. Okay, that means the beer, the party, the costumes, and the ambiance, the environment, right? All right, now, for you, what do I say? Uh, you're from France. I say, uh, salut. I say, uh, cheers. 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 Good okay. Salut. Okay. Santé. To Oktoberfest. Okay. There we go. Okay. All right, guys. There we go. Cheers. <laughs> Fruit. All right. See you there, guys. All right. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. but at some awful time, and it was just really a jolt of reality. Hey, morning, kid. Hey, zombie woman. I open the door, bright light from the cameraman, <laughs> um, and Patrick is Mr. Sunshine. You know, Mr. Peppy. You guys ready? Oktoberfest. It's about, I don't know, six o'clock. That's a sick part of my personality, as a matter of fact, that just likes to wake them up first thing in the morning. They're so beautiful the rest of the day. I just need to see them first thing. Rob, beautiful in the morning. Mm. Should we smack him? <laughs> Not a morning person. The train pulled in at the crack o' dawn. <laughs> really, really early, and it was kind of cold. Okay. I picked the big one. And we hopped off the train and we pushed all our luggage and we were on our way to Oktoberfest. Hey, look, guys, we made it. Oh, I'm exhausted. <laughs> it's 11 a.m. and today is the big day which kicks off the two-week celebration of mayhem and chaos, also known as Oktoberfest. We're at the grand entry of the Landlords. That's where everyone from beer maids to beer tent bands all gather together, march along the streets of Munich to Wiesen, where Oktoberfest takes place. And I think they're coming now. <laughs> Oktoberfest begins with this parade of the grand entry of landlords. And these are the people who are in charge or have hands-on contact with a beer. And they march down the street by horse and carriage or marching down with bands and trumpets and, and drums. And they're playing their tunes all for Oktoberfest. And it kind of commemorates how they started Oktoberfest back during the early days. Because back then, they would bring the beer in horse-drawn carts. And now, obviously, you know, they're not really bringing in the beer, but they're commemorating that event, and they're reenacting the idea of bringing all the beer in on these horse-drawn carts. There are two main events that really kick off Oktoberfest. One is a parade with the grand entry of the landlords. The other one is the ceremonial tapping of the keg. Michelle and Robin got to go to the parade. They get a chance to take a leisurely stroll down the street, horse-drawn carriages, they got flowers, they saw all these beautiful people in their wonderful costumes. I, on the other hand, had to fight my way in to this tiny room, sit in there for three hours, and face elbows, camera lenses in my ear, just to get a glimpse 
of the Lord Mayor tapping a keg. It's an amazing moment that kicks off Oktoberfest. But it's almost as if they're so excited about getting Oktoberfest started. It's like, yeah, 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 come on, come on, tap that keg. We have got to go here. We got beer that's waiting to be poured. This place is so huge. We're never going to be able to find him. I brought for you. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is like food for the rest of the week. Do I know the way to your heart or what? Yeah, so you know, the, all the like the floats, the people, they were throwing flowers, so we thought we'd pick some for you. Thank you so much. And I guess we can share this pretzel. Uh, Guys, look around you. Are you ready? Yeah. Get set. October <laughs> First time they try with six, and then they're gone with eight. Like we have some waiters, they carry 14. The key to doing this is that you've got to take your fingers and you've got to wrap your fingers around all the handles of the mug. This program is brought to you in part by Chevrolet Trucks, the most dependable, longest-lasting trucks on the road. Yeah, freedom! That's what it's all about. It's like, let's go. Ship. I think if you were to ask a cocktail party what it wanted to be when it grew up, it would say Oktoberfest. Oktoberfest is the be-all, end-all of beer parties. It has everything, and it has endless supplies of everything. You're not going to be afraid of running out of beer, music, people, food, and fun. Partying is an all-day, everyday occurrence during the two-week-long Oktoberfest. Astounding numbers of partygoers consume astounding quantities of food and drink. On average, how much beer do you think one person would consume on average per day? Well, it depends. <laughs> Just an average? Some, some people have two, some people have ten. I would say average should be by five. About five? Yes. Well, we have inside, we have 6,000 seats. Outside, we have 4,000 seats. We are able to feed 10,000 people within one hour. Fresh made. In, uh, in 16 days, about 70,000 chickens. That's 140,000 of chickens. Uh, we have uh, about 20,000 marks here in the tent. And when, when business is going good, then the people, the waitress, have to get the mugs from the tables to get fresh beer. This happens two or three times during the Oktoberfest. Then they go on with eight, they go on with ten. I can carry twelve, so it's no problem. We have some waiters, they carry fourteen. Wow, that's they carry six in each end and put two on top of them. We start off with uh, carrying twelve or fourteen of them jugs straight away, and then it's about two, uh, two or three hours doing that. And after that, we like slow down a bit. And at the end of the day, how do you feel? Uh, quite knackered, yeah. Quite worn off, yeah. <laughs> There's this word, it's called Gemütlichkeit. In German, I don't know. I, I think Americans know it. And what that's what it's about. Me. Coziness, kind of, but not really. It's just getting together, having drinks, and being friends with everybody. That's what it's about. There's so much going on to be really gemütlich, but it's good. It's like, this is, this is the Bavarian spa. This is how we party on in Bavaria, yeah? If you, could, if you had to describe Oktoberfest in a word, in this beer hall, what's the word? For the Oktoberfest? Beer. Just beer? Yeah. Is it madness in here? It's beer, it's madness, it's fun, it's sex. Actually, everything you can find at the Oktoberfest. What do you think it is about Oktoberfest that brings people here? Uh, this is 
it's like uh, uh, people have the feeling, even if they say this year I don't go there, and then it starts, they read about it, they say I have to go. This is something we say it's the fifth season in Munich. The October fifth season. Yes. The key to doing this is that you've got to take your fingers and you've got to wrap your fingers around all the handles of the mugs. Okay. And then you've got to pick up those mugs and and if, if you can't do it, you know, with just your arm strength, you've got to like rest it against your chest and you've got to carry it to your table. They're really heavy. I came up with all these beers in my hand, and I sit up and down the table, and they kind of looked at me like, who are you? <laughs> and then they were like, well, yay, we got our beer anyway. And then Michelle set hers down, and I think a crowd of, like, hundreds started going, yes! And I basically walked to the table like this, and as soon as I saw that table, I was like, home free! <laughs> I don't know, this might not be my uh, vocation. <laughs> it's really tough work. This stuff is heavy, and to work with all these people running around, it's tough. I don't know, could you have a job like this? Well, I don't think I'm cut out for this. <laughs> Adrian, good luck to you for October 5th. Thank you. Danke, danke schön. Well, I tried. Oh. that yodeling was words, that you were calling out, you were saying something. Now you try it. Getting ready for Oktoberfest means a lot of practice. Now for some, that might be lifting a lot of beer mugs. But for some folks here in Bavaria, it means practicing their art for the big Oktoberfest performance. Michelle's gone north of Munich to check on a troupe there. We headed south and found ourselves here in Garmisch Partenkirchen. Run. instrument here in our area. It is called Hackbrett and this is guitar and this is a sitar. It's the Bavarian national instrument. But the special thing uh, we do tomorrow is yodeling. Oh, Originally, yodeling was used to call in your cattle or call from one... If you're on a high mountain and you want to reach to another, like, uh, cottage, you would yodel. Oh, that's terrific. <laughs> that is really terrific. To learn how to yodel, how long did it take you? You have to be born with it, you know. You can't learn it in a day. It, you know, or in this country, uh, the yodeling is home here, you know. See, originally I thought that yodeling was words, that you were calling out, you were saying something. Hello, but it's not. Now you try it. <laughs> it's more or less sounds. It's the emotion behind the sound that communicates your idea. <laughs> 
la 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 We went to Wartenberg, which is a village north of Munich. And I went there to talk to some people who belong to a folkloric performance group. I'm Michelle. I'm Hans. Hi, Hans. Hans, tell me what these gentlemen are bringing in. It's huge. It's a, a harvest crown. This is a harvest crown? It was pretty impressive. It's, imagine what a king would wear on his head, and then, like, 20 times that size. Did someone ever put this <laughs> on one's head? No, no, no. <laughs> no, not since What is this made out of? Oats, wheat, barley, and rye. It's a symbol of the end of harvest season, and it's during this time, it's like a period of Thanksgiving, and so this will be carried during Oktoberfest as part of the celebration. Hans took me into a like a workshop area where some of the other uh, people in the group were putting together a smaller version of this harvest crown. I helped the ladies put together uh, one of the one of the sides. Okay. <laughs> and they gave me a small dance lesson, gave me an idea of what they do. I really wanted to play the accordion, so Leo Jr. let me play his accordion. It takes a lot of arm movement, a lot of, um, you know, expanding of the, the chest and the arms. I had actually two helpers, and even then, I, I didn't play very well. Ta -da! <laughs> Oktoberfest is not just all about beer. There are performances here, and people come from all over Bavaria to show off their heritage. And on that first Saturday of Oktoberfest, they all get together in the performance hall. I was looking forward to seeing the Wartenberg dance group perform. They kind of did a dance that was a reenactment of harvest season. They were dancing with scythes, and they went through the process of cutting down the wheat, barley, and it was really beautiful. What's the name of the dance? Wie heißen diese Tanze? Sicheltanz. Sicheltanz. Yeah. Because you danced with what sickle? Yeah. So it was celebrating the harvest, because I saw the harvest crown, and here it is. That's the finished product, yeah? This part. I hope to make that. I got a chance to go backstage, and I met up with the Rem family before they went on, so I could wish them luck and tell them that I'd be out there watching for them. Good luck, break a leg. What do I say? Good luck. Toy, toy, toy. <laughs> okay. You have to kiss me. Toy, toy. <laughs> toy, toy, toy. I love this country. Wow. I think it was really neat to see the two sides of Oktoberfest. The drinking side and then the cultural side. They're very different and yet they sound the same. You know, they're both dancing, they're both singing, they're both enjoying themselves, but in very different levels. We needed a break from the beer hall, so we took a trip to the Bavaria Filmworks. Michelle saw me taking a beating there, and I guess she wanted to get in on it, too. The pro. Who taught you all this? Okay. Next, welcome to the future. Be amazed by new technology, gadgets, and things beyond your imagination. Beyond 2000. Coming up next on the Discovery Channel. Explore your world.
This morning, strange things are happening all over the world. Shops are about to open empty. Part suppliers are partless, and assembly workers have nothing to assemble. Is this any way to run a business? With FedEx it is. Every morning the world gets just what it wants, just when it needs it. Without expensive warehousing. Gone today, here again tomorrow. Now that's the way the world works. Announcing a family size cruise line, the Big Red Boat. We're the perfect size for families, and we go to Walt Disney World. The Big Red Boat. Big, but not too big. Kids vacation free, you know. Call your travel agent or 1-800-DREAM-54. Ring up over $700 billion in sales like AT&T, people talk. Reach $1 trillion in real estate transactions like the Century 21 system, they must be talking to us. Because when you're this big, the number one real estate system, you can do things others can't. Like average a home bought or sold by our customers every minute, every day. No wonder, in a nationwide survey, homeowners said they'd recommend Century 21 by 6 to 1 over the nearest competitor. So call number one, Century 21. Does everyone have email but you? AT&T can deliver it to you through the internet. AT&T, nobody makes it easier to catch the wave. As for your so-called garden variety snake, most of them actually hang out on your lawn. Hence the term snake in the grass. Snake facts, not snake fiction. Be the ultimate expert. Watch the ultimate guide to snakes. Sunday at 8 Eastern, 7 Central, only on the Discovery Channel. the Marienplatz, which is a famous square in Munich that has the glockenspiel. On one side of the square is the city hall, or the Rathaus, and in the tower of the city hall is the very famous glockenspiel. Literally translated, that means the game of the clock. What are you doing? Hello! Lunch is served! Should I be frightened of this? This is vice versa. Tradition says <laughs> that we have to eat these before the glockenspiel strikes noon. Why? Wait a minute. That's like a few minutes. So eat. This is a tradition. Yes. It's kind of scary, huh? Mm. Standing in the shadow of the glockenspiel with a vice versa. Do you feel German? How come we're the only ones eating this? Hey. Mm. You got a point. You should share. And this vice versa is big. I mean, it's like the, the width of my head. Sit down and, and so when you're eating it, and you're given five minutes, it's a pretty hearty task. And here's Robin walking around the marrying plot. Will you have my vice first, sir? Would you like some? We got four minutes. Four minutes to eat it. Would you, would you like a bite? And I don't know how she did it, but she coerced someone to exchange with her. We are the only three people in this entire square eating these. You realize Sir, that? would you like one? Would you like some? Would you like some? Mmm. <laughs> would you like a bite? I'll oh, swap, yeah. Okay, I'll swap. Okay, cool. Thank you. <laughs> Robin cheated. We did Last bite. Oh. oh. I gotta catch my breath. Hold on. Mm. 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 Come on, I'm dying here. Mm. Okay, 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 okay. Mm. I knew. I knew. And the bells went off, and I thought it was 12 o'clock, and nothing happened. And I'm looking up there, and I'm like, okay, it's going to happen any minute now. Are you sure this is going to happen, you guys? <laughs> They're not moving, Michelle. <laughs> oh, maybe they'll move now. And finally, the characters started to move around in circles, and there were gestures that came out, and um, men on horseback. The glockenspiel has mechanical figures, which depict two historical themes from uh, Munich. Um, the first set of figures depict an actual tournament that took place in Marienplatz.
the highlight of the glockenspiel show is at the very end a rooster comes out of the top and crows Those who hear the crowing of the rooster have such good fortune for the rest of the year. I guess if you can make it to the end and get to the rooster, there's your good luck. In 1981, um, Germany's most, most successful film was completed here, which is uh, The Boat, Dust Boat, a story of a Second World War submarine. We needed a break from the beer hall, so we took a trip a few miles south of the festival grounds and went to the Bavaria Film Works. We had to build lots of reproductions, models of different size, very complicated work. Captain, my captain, get up here and steer myself. And when we finished the production, in the end, we found out, well, these models are quite worth to keep, not to destroy because many people want to know how films are made. Oh wait, you pull this down. Uh, I can't see anything. We didn't make the film with the original sound. Every sound was added later. So they used 200 soundtracks to, to do all the sound and dubbing afterwards. The very film works produces both TV and film. We got a chance to go on set, both indoors and outdoors, to see the production of a very popular German soap. Can you tell me where we are right in the moment here? We're yes. right in the middle of one of your more popular shows, right? That's right, Patrick. Marienhof is a daily show in German television. And the studios are, were established 70 years ago. So it was a time of silent movies. Now we are doing the shows with the sound. And uh, I think it's the biggest uh, studio in Germany. I had done a little work like this before, a little stunt work here and there, and I really wanted to kind of meet these guys. Where are you going to come? You on, right there? Okay. I'm ready for it. Okay. Yeah. Hey, that'll be good. Very good. Okay. Man. You ready? Okay. One more. Let's add one more to it. Okay. Oh. Hey, this Very is fun. Good. I'm kind of liking this. No, Absolutely back. good. Yeah, sure. Uh, I'll kick that off. Yeah. yeah. Let's uh, see. Make kick. Let's see. Here you go. Here you go. I'm gonna give you uh, this uh, one right here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's all you ready? Good. Okay. Oh yeah. Uh, we're gonna take it easy. You ready? Oh. Okay. okay. One. Ready? Oh, I love this shot. <laughs> you ready? On. Okay. One more. One more. Oh. Okay. Let's go. Okay. I got a good one for you. You ready? Okay. You ready? I'm gonna grab you here, okay? And I'm gonna throw my arm around like this. Okay, you ready? Then I'm gonna go. Oh, 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 ready? Right there? Here we go. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Who needs guns? Thank you so much. That was great fun. Michelle saw me taking a beating there, and I guess she wanted to get in on it too. Working with you guys. Working with you guys. I've learned how to take a beating. So. Yeah. She's a pro. Who taught you all this? Okay. We had to say goodbye before before I kicked Patrick's butt. We're going to fall on our butt. The toboggan is designed to really just shake you up so that you can take the beatings of the other rides. People come to Oktoberfest to drink, to dance, to sing, but they also have to eat. I think that's our cue to go try some Bavarian food. Ready? You got it. Come on. You're going to come out here, eat a fish sandwich, and I mean that's a fish sandwich, <laughs> and drink beer all day? Danke. Yeah. Danke. Auf Wiedersehen. Oh, wow. Ah. Do you remember that pretzel that I brought you that very first yeah, day? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is where I got them from. There's God. They do over 500 of these a day. No way. Some of the foods that I, I was a little unsure of, I could express with like more of a, a facial expression. No. Oh, 
Luxembourger. You ready? Come on. The Oxburger? Um, it's gotta be good, Robin. Look at how many people are out here. Think about it. You just ate ox. Oh. Oh. Bavarian food is very hearty. I don't think I ever tried or, or even saw a vegetable. I can't eat anymore. Oh, my God. You know, I got a little hungry on the way over. Sorry about that. Is good into my sandwich? I'll try it. Yeah. But like the strudel, delicious. Okay, we're eating strudel in Germany. Oh, Are you sure you don't want any? Robin, you're on your own. You might get some if you lick it off her face there. Wait, let me, let me. It's all that's left. Did I miss? It's all that's left. Yeah, you missed your mouth trying you to. You can get, get an ox burger. And a pretzel, cotton candy, peanuts, cookies, and a beer. Now that just doesn't seem right to me. Food and drink aren't the only fair at Oktoberfest. The giant beer halls share the Wiesen with giant roller coasters and other amusements. The travelers, with the help of a Munich friend, got a chance to try a few rides. <laughs> Cameraman had too much beer. Look what I took from him. Oh, all right. Here we are at the toboggan. We're going to fall on our butt. The toboggan is designed to really just shake you up so that you can take the beatings of the other rides. You jump on this fast-moving escalator, and it shoots you right off the end. And then you walk up to the top, and then, basically, jump on a mat and do a corkscrew all the way to the ground, run into the back of the person in front of you, and jump off. We did a variety of rides. We definitely had to do the Ferris wheel because it's very famous. It's one of the largest Ferris wheels in the world. What's it called? Uh, Riesenrad, German. Riesenrad. Riesen is very big. Ries, riesig, you know? The Insider was my favorite ride, hands down. Be okay if I scream, right? Okay. Because be prepared, my pal. It made me sick, and I loved it. Oh, oh. Come on. I understand why it's called The Insider. I'm a young person. I'm very spirited. I love to do carnival rides. But this ride just, I mean, it kicked my butt. So much fun. There's a specialty here, the Bavarian Swings. You basically try to swing back and forth fast enough and hard enough to go all the way around. And you push, and you pull, and you push, and you pull, and you move, and you go, and nothing happens. There must be some little Bavarian trick, and they're all standing around laughing at me. Oktoberfest is so much fun tomorrow. I think we've done Oktoberfest. Or it's done us. We have to go into a beer hall. Oh, no, no. Oh, come on. We must. That's Oktoberfest. Some sand. Organized chaos. It's a hearty, jolly, merry feeling. The horse is really.
tradition. It's the very tradition? Yes, it's more than 500 years. That's a long time. I was real impressed with the size of the entire parade. I mean, not only seven kilometers long, but there are people lining that whole seven kilometers. 10, 20 people deep. When you see so many different groups of people march in their best traditional costumes, you're just overwhelmed with the variety, with the flavor that is here in Germany. All parades lead to Oktoberfest. Absolutely. If you want to know where Wiesen is, follow the parade. <laughs> After the big costume procession, many of the participants end up inside the beer halls and gardens. On their last day at Oktoberfest, the travelers boldly sought out a toast or two. Robin started in a beer garden, while Michelle and Patrick ventured inside one of the massive halls. All right. You all drink right. all okay. order. Okay. It's insanity. Organized chaos. If you wanted to take chaos and put it all in one room, you would call it a beer hall. You're never going to find a thing. And if there was too much chaos to fit in one room, and you wanted to put some outside, you would call that a beer garden. Joan and I went to go look for alcohol-free beer. There are people who come and drink alcohol-free or don't even drink. They're there for the atmosphere. They're there for the music and just being around a lot of neat people. There's this word called gemütlichkeit. Really, there isn't a direct translation into English, but it's just feeling that you're having a good time. And I think when I was at Oktoberfest, I did get that feeling. I got that feeling especially from the people. Oktoberfest is all about just sitting and enjoying meeting people and talking and not necessarily drinking all the time, just having a good conversation. Toasting, kissing, falling all over each other, and I would say, how do you know this guy there? I don't know him. He's just sitting next to me. What do we say? That's the whole idea. That's the spirit of Oktoberfest. This idea of Bavarian spirit, and it's a it's a hearty, jolly, merry feeling. What in the world did I just do? A drinking game, it looks like, huh? yeah. which means to say prose, to say cheers, makes a riches out of it because it's more complicated and makes more fun. And you don't drink so much. And you don't drink so much. What do you call that? have come together, friends have come together. This is just the coming together of people to have a really good time and drink some really good beer. Me too. We've only been here for two days. You're packed, babe. We've seen so much. 
Take me between the crowd. Oh, and the parade. The ride. The costumes. The beer hall. The beer gardens. The beast burst. And the pork knuckles. You guys, it's not just about the pork knuckles. Do you realize how much time and energy goes into putting on Oktoberfest? You try holding a 16-day party and inviting 6 million people. I don't think so. Those oompa bands. The strudel. Oh, and the oxen burgers. Oh, the schlong. Oh, and all that chicken. Remember the that? The pretzels. <laughs> Obviously, the party will go on, but we'll see you next time on Travelers. Bye. Remember those little Bye. candy peanuts? Oh, those are great. But then you have to get on the rides and go all the way down. Yeah, yeah. but then you get that little <laughs> chocolate-covered fruit at the end. Oh. Continues. If you give